Oh yeah. What's up, y'all? Devin the Dude in here. This is the Devin the Dude show. Check this out. They done fucked around and gave a nigga like me an uncensored show where I can smoke, drink, and have special guests, man. Today, today's special guest, Slim Thug in the house. Thug up. What up, man? We out here, man. <laughs> Congratulations on the show, man. Oh man, shit, I appreciate it, man. You know what I'm saying? We just, you know what I'm saying? Get our feet wet, you know what I'm saying? About yeah. to dive in in a little bit, man. But, you know what I'm saying? Much love to all the people out there, man, who kind of requested something like this. Much love to Snoop Dogg. Much love to Be Real with Smokebox, man, and all, all the forefathers and all the people who've been doing this too, man. Just made room for a brother like me to try to see what is happening, man. Let me smoke that joint while you find it. Mm -hmm. uh. Rebecca from Memphis mm. want to know when was the first time you got some head? Oh man, the first time I got some head. That's a good one. I don't know if the first time I lost my virginity I got some head, I can't remember. I do remember uh, when I did, I lost my virginity at 12 and there was a chick who actually um, had a baby like two, three months before that or whatever. So I remember it was funny because I remember I downed it and then I guess I bust or whatever. And she was like, you busting me? I said, man, I don't know how I feel. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't even know it. I ain't even beat my feet before that. I just, I just jumped out there like I was ready. Oh, man. But on the cool, man, I ain't no, I ain't, surprisingly, I ain't no big head fan, man, on the cool. Like, yeah, she could only white racks for personal yeah. shit, man. You no, know, I ain't no big head fan. I probably got it then, though, but I don't know. He Instagram people, man. They be tripping, man. I don't know what the fuck. I can't tell everybody what we're doing, because they're going to ask some crazy shit. Oh, what, one person asked, man, about uh, working with Pharrell, man. We were working with Pharrell, Beyonce, and all the big name people. You've been featured on a lot of cool yeah. tracks. You know what I'm saying? I know why you've been featured on there, man, but they would like to hear from you, man. You know what I'm saying? Wonder why, you know what I'm saying? Oh, man. H-Town representative like yourself was chosen to be on some, you know what I'm saying? It was, that's that Houston movement, man. And when we came through, you know, uh, with the steel tipping, it was just like everybody was on dick, you know what I'm saying? Wasn't, well, not just on, you know, everybody was showing love. Well, you, you know what I'm saying? You know what that yeah. mean, you know. That's just slang, you know. But, yeah. you know, first of all, Skateboy P came and hollered at me when I had went to uh, talk with Interscope. And, you know, he was like, he wanted to work with me, man. And, you know, we got together and made some music, man. I love the music we made together. And, you know, and then after that, he kind of slid me through the door with uh, Gwen Stefani. She had oh, did a, real. she had did a, a that song, um, you know, that song we did. She did that with Ludacris at first. And then she gave me a shot to do my verse. So we ended up going with that. That was a blessing. Oh, man. And then me and Beyonce got to check up on it. Uh, that was, oh, that ended up, I did a, a show out here in Houston. I think it was the last Destiny Child show they had at the Toyota Center. And they was like, come out and do Still Tipping. So I was like, bet I came out there, my verse. They called me like the next day, like, hey, we want to get you on this album, but we got to turn it in like the next day or some shit. So you like, can you do a verse real quick? So I did like two verses to two songs and mm. one of them was check up on it. Shit, we wow. got that check. We were number one. <laughs> <my mama. laughs> That's it. You killed them when I, I was looking at you. Hold up, when I heard you on that, that chronic, I was like, hold up, that boy Devin and got with Drake? Oh, man. Oh, that was, that, was, that was huge. That was huge, man. Was, actually, I thought Rico was tripping. <laughs> I thought Rico was tripping, man, because that's how Rico became my, 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 my manager. That's how yeah. Rico became a manager, man, because, you know, I used to call him road manager because yeah. that's how it kind of started off. And I'm just go ahead and, you know what I'm saying? Give him his get, credit. Give him his credit, <laughs> man. He's he been doing a whole bunch, man. And, and but but this is how it happened. He, he was working with rap a lot, and yeah. uh, he got a call somehow from from, from their team, aftermath team, whatever. Yeah. He called me. I was at the crib. You know, I got these kids. I'm chilling. I'm chilling. I'm smoking. Just chilling. He called me. Talking about man, Dr. Dre about to call. I was like, oh wow, wow man. I was like, oh man. I was so excited. And you know, after that, he followed through on everything that I needed to do as far as getting out there in hotels and all. Just get, hey, he, he laid it online, and that's how it happened, man. And it, was, it was a blessing. Yeah, but man, sh hey, man, but when 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 people appreciate good music, man, the people that does that good music, man, they get appreciated, and that's right. why, that's why you doing. What same you're doing. to you, same to you, G. We try to keep it, you know, uh, solid, and we ain't never sounding like you know nobody else. I think that's. A big thing with music, like a lot of the time you listen to the radio, you hear about uh, ten dudes 
like right now, I would say it's the Migo flow. Ever since Versace dropped, you hear like 10 dudes, you know, had that same flow, you know right, what I'm saying? Right, right. And I don't know, I think that, I think they play out with whatever, you know, going on at the time. Well, it's the trend. I think it's yeah. what people are looking for, actually. I think a lot of the companies, record companies and stuff, they want that particular sound that's in at the time so they can get these artists and then and that's do what they, they want to do for right. a couple of years. And artists trying to get that chick. You know what I'm saying? <coughs> Expendable, you know, just got to, <coughs> well, you got your own signature sound. It's like a, like, like an instrument. Like I think every voice is an instrument. You have yours yourself too, man. And every time somebody hear you, they know they, they, they go slim up, man. That's right. Like, Same just like Devin the dude. You gonna know that voice. So you know, it's a blessing, man. I don't like how a lot of artists too. I want to speak on this since we on it. Do I don't think? like how a lot of artists just give away their music, man. Now listen, the the, the majors just give away their music because you can't put out a mixtape if you sign to a major label. You know, you gotta put it out for free. You can't sell it, basically. So if you just independent, and you know, if you got records, man, believe in your records, sell that music, man. And people, a lot of people don't like live mixtapes and you know, to go there and do all that computer shit. Like me, if I like a song, I go to iTunes and just buy it, cause it's easier mm -hmm. and more, you know, convenient. Right. A lot of kids just give away their music, man. They can be getting checks, man. And Tim from Georgia, man, wanna know, man, Slim Thug, everybody know that you've been really putting it down, <laughs> representing the streets since day one, since you first got on the mic. Um, it's always been hood, always been streets. When was the first time you saw your first gun that was first real, gun. that was a, a real gun? Man, this is, I smoke weed every day like Devin and dude. These are questions that's hard to remember. But- As a kid. As a kid, man, you know, I got, I'm the youngest of seven. You know what I'm saying? I'm the youngest of seven. I got uh, three older brothers, three older sisters. I'm the baby. So, you know, I seen everything super early. You know, I was around there. My brother's selling double. I seen my Sound first right. I seen my first brick when I was probably like before teen, you know what I'm saying? Right. Before I was a teen. Yeah, it sound like it in your music, man. It sound like you just been, you know what I'm saying? It's just, and it, it ain't, I ain't saying it was me. You know, I was so a baby yeah, at the yeah. time. I'm just saying like, I yeah. was even a baby at the time. Yeah, you sound like you, 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 you're a witness to a lot of things. And, yeah. and, and you tell it. You, I try to you, just, you know it. You know it ain't no false story when you tell it. Right. So it it's not necessarily that you did, you did, did you do all yeah. those things or not. It was like, right. when, when did you see it or recognize it or I seen to that be able early. To, to, to understand that was, it? That was, that was early, man. I rode around with my cousins, you know, and we, you know, and my brothers and, you know, just did shit. It was trapping out the hood and we didn't crack out everything. It was real, you know, but at the same time, like, I didn't have the same vision I got today. Like, I used to just think slab. All I wanted was a candy slab. You know, I wasn't even thinking about no Bentleys or, you know, uh, just get money, period. I was just thinking about riding candy slabs and, and just, you know, I seen people around me take it to another level. And when I seen that, that inspired me, man. So, you know, I'm just saying, like, think big. I stopped really smoking when, when the beer is gone. But let me tell you, I can't even roll a blunt. I tried, it's gonna be fucked up. It'll probably smoke if I put my hand in a few places. Mm -hmm. I've been smoking since I was like 12 and still can't roll no blunt. Oh mm -hmm. man, I'm, I'm gonna show you, man, a foolproof way to, to, to roll it, which is easy, and it's real easy. A, a blunt is easier to roll than a joint too, man. I use the joint, the roller. That's how I roll, but I kinda, <laughs> I'm kinda scared to learn, cause you know, I think I'm gonna turn up to the next level. Like right now I'm at a, uh, um, a half, a week pace, you know what I'm saying? Right. I don't wanna go too crazy. Oh man, me and Ro, we got a mean motherfucking album. Yeah, much love to Ro, man. Y'all always been working, man. Y'all yeah. always, man, y'all y'all chemistry, man. Good chemistry. Y'all y'all can do two or three albums yeah, together right now. Yeah, he make them dope ass, yeah. them hooks, man. He just, you know, solid with that. Mm -hmm. And bring that melody to the game. So yes, sir. Just throw, man. Yeah, but me and Ro got a whole album done. I got a new record I'm finna drop called Hog Life. Uh, it's like street though, it ain't got no singles to it or nothing, it's just, you know, some shit I want to throw out there, just, I'm gonna do a real album after that, I already did some with Mustard and Top Dollar, so, you know, okay. we working, man. Mustard on that beat. I yeah. thought it was something else, but. Got a meme. Oh, that boy, that guy. Yeah. <laughs> that boy got to beat. Mustard getting that check, man. Yeah, man, that boy, he all over the place, he, that's he, all you hear, Mustard on that beat. Man, make a beat, man, get that check, for real, that shit is. What's in the box? Box, 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 box. What's in the fucking box?
Four box trivia questions, man. Okay, check it out. Box number one. Contestants, man. Our special guest, Slim Thug, is in the house. We're going to go with box number one. Uh, is it some Pop Rocks and motherfucking filet mignon flavored dog food? No. Or a pair of Adidas socks? And some, one of the two in that box. And, and, and number one. Box number one. Two, two. I say it's, it's, it's... Is it, uh, uh, some Pop Rocks and a filet mignon flavored dog food or uh, some of these socks? No, nah, it's some Pop Rocks. And Pop Rocks and filet mignon flavored dog food? That's what it is in here? Or <laughs> a pair of Adidas socks? I don't think there's no Adidas socks in there, man. Okay. We're gonna go with the pop rocks and <laughs> some filet mignon flavored dog food. That's one for one. We gotta find that. Oh, that's what it was. Some filet mignon flavored dog food. But I know y'all would do hey, some crazy you, shit. <laughs> you got it right though, man. See, I'm talking about that boy real. Number two, box number two is a set of false teeth <laughs> or a baby turtle. Fuck that, false teeth in there. <laughs> Absolutely right. <laughs> what? Oh, man, come on, man. Only the eight. I they can't fuck with the turtle. They cannot fuck with the I know we should have cut some holes in that motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> I was about to say, y'all wrong. Yeah, if we cut holes. holes in there, we would've, would've fell for the turtle shit. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's wrong. <laughs> All know, right, Snip Thug's in the house. Y'all yeah. check this out, man. Down to two boxes. Yeah. He's two for two right now, man. Come, Come on, on, man. man. I'm, I'm, I'm competitive, man. I got a shot on one or something. <laughs> Box number three. Do we have a Kendrick Lamar CD or a stapler made of sushi with peanut butter and jelly? Damn. Can a CD bid in this motherfucker? You can get another hint. I'll give you another hint. Give me a hint. Is it a stapler made of sushi with peanut butter and jelly? <laughs> or a Kendrick Lamar CD <laughs> with his new hot single on that motherfucker? <laughs> it's the stapler. A stapler made of sushi yeah. with the peanut butter and jelly. And with peanut butter and jelly. Yeah, that's what it is. Oh man, you got music in your car? Cause it is. <laughs> <laughs> sushi stapler oh, with some motherfucking peanut butter and jelly. Yeah, that boy there is not tripping, man. <laughs> Y'all can't not <laughs> the dog. Oh man, check. Oh, man. I can't fade that boy. Come on, man. man. Let me get this. Check this, this, this out. Right quick. Box number four. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Box number four, man. Here you go. Three for three, y'all. Can you believe it? Come on. This is not set up for nobody to get four in a row. So. I've been praying a lot, man. I pray every day. I read a little uh, uh, Joel Osteen prayer. Oh, yeah, man. I, he's, he's raw, too. I like Joel Osteen. Man, you can listen to him, man. He can make, you know what yeah, you saying? Yeah, he gives you some game every day. Yeah, man. Smiling in his eyes and it's just, <laughs> just friendliness and yeah. talk about his wife. My wife just, yeah. you know, he think about it. Beside, man. Yeah, we selling out stadiums, man. No, you know, we got a stadium every Sunday. I mean, that's, you know, they love us. Ooh, cool, man. Yeah. Give it that game. Come Box on, number four. Let's get and it. Here we go. Without a delay. Box number four. Is it the world's smallest plunger hmm. or? A 16 ounce Bud Light and a can of anchovies. The Bud Light and anchovies. Is that your last and final answer? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's my final answer, man. Well, no, I thought we were gonna have history up in here, man. <laughs> <laughs> but it's a Bud Light in the motherfucking <laughs> Yeah. 
Yeah, I'll tell you I messed that joke. Oh, last man, week. you know what I'm saying? Oh, <laughs> man, the consolation prize, man. You get down there over a week. Hey, the weed in your belly. I'm gonna get ten of them. Oh man, come on, the prize gonna get bigger and bigger. Yeah, man, man. hell yeah. You know what I'm saying? You gonna walk around, you gonna walk out this motherfucker with a quarter pound. That's what I wanna do. I'm tired of spending money on the week. I'm gonna do this. Every week. <laughs> yes, sir, yes, sir. Well, let's check this out, man. It's been wonderful, man. I appreciate your time. No problem, you, man. I appreciate your time. Slim Thug, man, ladies and gentlemen, man, on the Devil Dude Show, man, CBTV, man, Coffee Brothers, man, Smoke. Hey. Until you can't. Check this out, man. Stay blessed. Much oh. love, y'all. Oh, yeah. There it is. Yep, yep. <laughs>